With its Greek name translated to mean river horse, the hippopotamus is a famous animal. It is reputable for its size, mouth, attacks, and the 115 decibels loud sounds it makes. That is equivalent to the sounds of a massive chainsaw and even can cause lasting hearing damage. However, some of the fame of the hippo is often misconstrued, misrepresented, or misinterpreted. One of such is the famed aggression it has towards boats. In this video, therefore, we bring you facts regarding the hippopotamus and its eating habits, perception of boats, sounds, size, weight, habitat, and the much-anticipated question, whether it attacks and or eats humans. We'll also debunk some myths along the way on our journey to uncover the truth regarding this Brodignagian land animal. One of such myths is the belief that hippos do sweat blood. Could that be true? Well, you've got to stick to the end to find out. But first, let's find out just how large and heavy the hippo can get. Only the elephant is clearly heavier than the hippo of all land animals. As such, the hippo is one of the heaviest land animals on planet Earth. It competes with the rhinoceros for second place, although it's usually assumed that the rhino is still a bit heavier than the hippo. In terms of size, male hippos, referred to as bulls, tend to be larger than females, distinguished as cows. In terms of weight, bulls would often weigh 30% more than cows. From their head to their rump, Hippos usually tend to measure between 10 and 14 feet, or 3 and 4.3 meters in length, excluding the tail. The paddle-like flat tail measures an additional 35 to 50 centimeters, or 14 to 20 inches in length. In terms of height, it stands at 1.5 meters, or about 5 feet tall at shoulder level. Weight is their most impressive physical characteristic as they measure between 1.5 and 3 tons. Given their round-looking, robust size supported by short, sturdy legs, it is impossible to see a hippo and not recognize it. They have massive heads, a mouth that is 0.5 meters or 1.7 feet wide, almost completely hairless thick skin, and a short tail with a brownish pink hue around the ears and eyes. Believed to have been on Earth for the past 50 million years at least, the hippo can be found in or around swamps, lakes, and rivers. Hippos are huge beasts native to Africa, where their range covers beyond 30 countries. The largest population can be found in East African countries of Kenya, Tanzania, Uganda, Mozambique, and Zambia. However, they can be found in other countries such as Nigeria, Namibia, Burundi, Senegal, Rwanda, Togo, Ghana, Cameroon, Gabon, Benin, Angola, among others. Africa is home to the two species of hippopotamus. The first species is the common hippo, which is also the largest, while the second species is the pygmy hippo, which is considerably smaller. The pygmy hippo is found only in four countries, Guinea, Liberia, Ivory Coast, and Sierra Leone. While the common hippo is extremely territorial and lives in a pod of 10 to 30 other hippos, the pygmy hippo is solitary and not as territorial or aggressive as its larger cousin. Given their enormous size, it is expected that hippos need tens of years to get that big. As such, in the wild, Hippos have an average lifespan of 40 to 50 years at the most. In captivity, however, they can live for as long as 60 years. Hippos are herbivores. While a hippo spends about 16 hours daily basking in rivers, swamps, and lakes, they come out in the evening to feed on grass. They may travel as far as 6 miles in a single night just to graze. They consume about 80 pounds or 35 kilograms of food each day. That is relatively small compared to other large animals. In comparison to its body weight, a hippo eats only about 1% of its total body weight. Apart from short grasses or hippo lawns which they feed on, hippos also eat ripe fallen fruits. They graze for about 4 to 5 hours, 
after which they returned to the water via the same spot they left the water. A school of hippos would often walk in a single file. Hippos spend such a long time in the water daily to keep their body hydrated. Without consistent or periodic dips, they'll become dehydrated and die. They get rid of heat by taking a dip or remaining in the water all through the day. It can get sunburnt easily. To prevent this, hippos wallow in shallow waters and secrete a reddish oily substance across the skin. The secretion of this red oily substance misled people into believing that hippos sweat blood when, in reality, hippos do not even sweat at all. It is believed by scientists that this oily substance helps act as a sunscreen against the scorching ultraviolet rays of the inclement African sun. It may also help prevent germs. Watering holes are the hippo's most valued resource. While the common hippo is extremely territorial over watering holes, they are relatively unbothered and claim no rights over land territories. An interesting fact is that the leading bull of a group of hippos may maintain his territorial claim over a watering hole and its inhabitants for more than 12 years. Given their beastly size and the protection that comes with congregating in groups, no predator would dare attack an adult hippo. However, young hippos can be preyed upon by opportunistic predators like crocodiles, lions, and hyenas. According to the International Union for the Conservation of Nature IUCN, the hippo is vulnerable to extinction with a decreasing population trend. In the Democratic Republic of Congo, for example, the total population of hippos has declined more than 95% at the turn of the 21st century due to heavy poaching. Another case study is Uganda, which in 2002 exported about 5.5 tons of hippo teeth or ivory. To achieve this, 2,000 hippos must have been put to death. And this is all because hippos do not enjoy the same conservation status that elephants do. Also, hippo ivory is much more valued than that of the elephant because its color doesn't change over time unlike that of the elephant. Hippos are very popular for their aggression. To put it straight, hippos are the most dangerous land animal in Africa. Yes, hippos do attack humans, and it is quite often fatal. Hippos are responsible for the death of over 500 people annually in Africa. Hippos are particularly aggressive and territorial, especially when in the water or around riverbanks. The most dangerous is a mother hippo having a young one close by. They would sometimes charge and attack for no reason and are especially unpredictable around boats. It's a common occurrence for hippos to charge and flip boats because hippos regard boats as predators. An example is a report of a hippo in Niger Republic which in November 2014 capsized a boat conveying school children leading to the death of all 12 children and another villager. Another is Paul Templer, an ex-safari guide in Zimbabwe who was swallowed twice by the same hippo in the same encounter. He is alive to tell the story, but his left arm had to be amputated. There are many more stories dealing with just how deadly the hippo's anger and encounter can be. The best thing? Avoid them always. The hippo remains one of Africa's most iconic beasts. Despite these numerous negative traits, it plays an important role in helping nurture the marine ecosystem. Its dung is rich in nutrients vital for the sustenance of marine life. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, comment below, and share.